Today, we're gonna to talk about ACL tears, how to diagnose and evaluate them, what imaging or scans we may need, and how to ultimately treat them with or without surgery. I'm Dr. Matthew Harb, and with that, let's get started. The anterior cruciate ligament, or the ACL, is one of the main stabilizer ligaments of the knee. It helps with pivoting and cutting movements, and when it gets injured, it can significantly cause problems, interfere with activities of daily living, and really be disruptive, especially if you play sports. The ACL is a strong band of tissue which connects the thigh bone, or femur, to the shin bone, or tibia. It really helps to control the back and forth movement of the knee. When it gets torn, it can cause the knee to become unstable and give way. This can happen in sports activities which require sudden stops and a change in direction, like soccer or basketball. The ACL can also be torn as direct trauma or direct blow to the knee, like a car accident. Symptoms of an ACL tear include pain and swelling, a popping sound at the time of injury, inability to bear weight on the knee, knee instability or giving way. If you suspect that you have an ACL tear, it's important to see your doctor as soon as possible. The doctor will ask about your symptoms and what events led up to the time of injury. They will also perform a physical examination of the knee to test the ligaments and see if anything else is torn. To confirm the diagnosis, we usually order an MRI scan. CT scans are to check if we're suspicious of fractures. These tests can also show the extent of the injury and if anything else is torn, like a meniscus. In some cases, an ACL tear may be treated with physical therapy and rehabilitation. However, if the tear is severe and physical therapy Therapy is not enough, you may require surgery. The majority of the time, if you're young and athletic, you will also require surgery to return to sport. Surgery for an ACL tear usually requires reconstruction of the ligaments. This is done by taking tissue from another part of your body. Many times we'll use the patella tendon called a bone patella bone graft or hamstrings or sometimes even quadriceps tendon. The surgery is usually performed during what we call arthroscopy, which is using a camera and tools to make a small incision and perform the ACL reconstruction. Construction. After surgery, the knee will be protected, usually with a brace, and will modify your weight bearing and protect it with crutches. The rehabilitation program will begin as soon as possible to regain strength, function, and stability. Physical therapy also usually involves a program to restore proprioception, which is your body's perception of where your joint is in space, as well as stability and strength. Therapy is usually adjusted based on each person's progress and goals. It may take several months to achieve a full recovery, and return to sport is usually at about one year. In summary, ACL tears are damage to the main ligament in the knee, which can cause instability and pain. They are evaluated and diagnosed with imaging and clinical exam. Treatment options include physical therapy and surgery. Once again, these decisions are based on the severity of injuries and your personal goals. Recovery and rehabilitation require patience and dedication, but the ultimate goal is restoring function and regaining stability. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more content.